guys, Charmed Wench here and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to do something different. I got sent this quite a while ago uh, by the lovely Wacky World of Lottie, she sent it me in a box swap. This is the L'Oreal Paris Eye Paints and it's in the colour Diamonds, it's really really pretty. It's like a liquidy diamond uh, eye paint and I have not gotten around to using it so I thought today we're going to give it a go so we're going to create a little bit of a quick eye look and then try this out and see what it's like so i'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see this a little bit closer i know you're close already but i'm gonna go in a little bit more hopefully it's not too scary for you guys and then you can see this in all its glory so i'll be back in two seconds once i've zoomed in right so i have zoomed in and now we're going to just create some i mean i've got a little bit of base makeup on nothing like too intense I did try a bronzer that I've never used before. It's the ML one that I got in a glossy box. It's a little bit muddy, but we're going to go with that. Um, obviously, I've got my base makeup on, but now we're just going to create just a simple eye look, and then we're going to try the L'Oreal Diamond Eye Paint. See how it goes. So I'm just going to create an eye look just using the Soph palette. This is obviously the first original one. It is disgusting. I apologise. I'm a mess. So I'm just going to use this and I'll tell you the colours as I go and we'll just like apply a quick makeup look I guess I may use tape actually just to give it a nice sharp edge because I like that so I will just apply the tape and be with you in a second so the first thing I'm going to do is take the colour penguin and just apply that all over the lid If you guys do hear Edward crying downstairs, he's been a bit of a monkey lately, he doesn't want to go to bed on time. Um, he does sleep through still, can't complain about that, but when it gets to about 7 o'clock, when he used to normally go to bed, he doesn't want to go to sleep anymore. He'll have like a, he'll go to have a last bottle at like 6, and then he'll go to sleep for a little bit, and then he'll wake up and want to stay up till 8 o'clock, which isn't the worst, I don't, you know, it's nothing majorly bad, but... It's when you, we've got so used to a routine that it's quite hard to uh, change it. I think he might have gone back to sleep, but I'm not sure. You may hear him again in a minute. So that is the colour penguin. I've just applied that all over just because obviously I've got a base of foundation on. And it's really warm tonight. Uh, and yeah, now I'm going to go into the next colour. So the next colour I'm going to go into is I'm going to keep this super simple I'm not going to do any transition shades or anything like that I'm just going to go in fact no yes I am but it's not a transition shade as you would normally see it I'm going to go into this colour here strawberry sweets and just apply that on the lid on the lid on the eye and the crease so we'll just go with it this is just a random eye look just so that I can create something quickly for you guys so that you can see the L'Oreal Diamonds and I've, like I said I've not even had a chance to try it it's just been in my cupboard um, my cupboard in my drawers in my drawers uh, just I just yeah I put it away and forgot it was there which is really sad because it's really pretty and I just discovered it the other day when I was going through my makeup and thought I need to try this out so I thought I'd share it with you guys so just going to keep this like super super simple and just put the strawberry sweets all over the top there may be a colour mixed in with my brush there which I didn't know was there but it's just a, a, a base layer so it's not so bad there we go I didn't clean my brush properly the first time around so this doesn't have to be anything perfect because it's just going to be just a base to lay on the purple so that the purple's nice a nice warm purple rather than uh
And now we're going to take the colour Mixed Berries, which is this gorgeous purple shade here. And we're just going to whack that in the crease and the outer corner and just blend it all out. Just applying it over that mixed berry shade. I want it to be super dark and pigmented, so I'm going to build that colour right up to a nice bright purple. Because I think it'll really, really pop if I use the purple and the silver together. I think it'll be a nice eye look. So we're going to go with that. <clears throat> I don't know whether to cut the crease or whether to just try the eye paint over the top and just see how that goes might just do that and see what happens so yeah just build up that colour it's such a beautiful shade I don't know why I haven't used this before it's really nice I may have used it but only in a little bit I like that this is nice and dark purple but obviously having that mixed berry colour underneath has just added a little bit of warmth to it as well not that purple hasn't got a warmth to it but you know what I'm saying so I'm going to go with that, super simple, super easy and blending, we've been talking about blending a lot uh, recently to a few of my friends, on uh, my YouTuber friends, um, because people uh, can be very very mean on the internet, you know who I'm referring to because obviously we had a conversation about it, I'm not going to say her name because uh, she might not want me to mention it, but uh, People on YouTube can be very, very nasty uh, with regards to makeup channels in general. Uh, the trolls love to come out and uh, and leave nasty comments for people and just generally be kind of quite nasty. And it it really affects people. It really hurts people's feelings. I don't understand why they do it. It's just it's just really not nice. I just don't understand it. If you've got nothing nice to say. Don't say anything at all. And don't criticise somebody's blending skills because we're all learning. Everybody's learning. We're constantly learning. It's just applying makeup is a constant learning thing because everything changes all the time. So don't rain on someone's parade when they like what they've done. I don't understand why people think that that's an okay thing to do because it's really, really not. And like I said, it hurts people's feelings. You might not think that you are hurting someone's feelings when you criticise their makeup, but you really are. That person goes away and thinks that, you know, they're not good enough. And I think that's really unfair. And it's not very nice at all. I just don't like how people can be so, so mean on the internet, which is it's such a shame because it could be such a beautiful place, you know. I'm just gonna go back into Penguin. I'm just gonna run that across the top here just so I can blend that purple in a little bit more to the brow bone so it's not so harsh and the blend is a bit nicer but yes blending that's what I was talking about before I got on to trolls um you know you blend to however you feel whatever uh, this is the way I see blending as long as it's got a nice transition to the top of your brow and you're happy with it that is all that matters that is all that matters when it comes to blending for me uh, if I'm not happy with it generally if I'm not happy with the look I won't put it up uh, and you guys only see the half of the editing of makeup looks you don't see the whole thing you know you just see the bits that you need to see blend it I tend to blend for absolutely donkey's years sometimes so yeah don't think that you're not good enough at makeup because seriously some of my looks that I used to create were shocking they were so shocking um, because I originally started with just doing a blog on makeup rather than YouTube. Um, so yeah, don't think that you're bad at makeup because everybody's learning all the time. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect and I'm pretty sure every makeup guru out there would say that they're not perfect either and there's something that they don't like about what they do. So don't rain on someone's parade just because you think it's fun or because it makes you feel better because that's not fair. And that's my rant on blending. <laughs> it went a bit crazy, but you know, we got there in the end. So that, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to apply this eye paint. Um, I don't know whether to apply it after because it's quite thick or apply the eyeliner. Oh, it's so pretty though. So pretty. So I'm just going to apply it as it is. 
uh, I'm just going to cut a crease with it kind of and just see what it goes like. So like you can see it's super simple eye look and then we're going to go in with this liquid diamonds, the L'Oreal Dim eye paint in diamonds and we're just going to cut a crease with it and see what happens. It may need a couple of layers, it may not, I've never used it before. So we're just winging it. <laughs> right. I don't know what it's going to dry down like so we're literally getting a first impressions here guys. It's very pretty though. I'm not going to lie, this is very pretty. I know a lot of people rave about the Stila uh, Magnificent Metal ones, but this is quite nice. And I'm guessing it's a lot more affordable. I don't know the price because I was sent it obviously in a box swap, but uh, I will find out for you guys and I will put it in the description bar below. But at the minute I'm not I'm literally not I haven't cut this crease with concealer and it's done a good job at oh I like it I like it a lotty lotty you did a good job on this one so I'm gonna just bring it out a little bit more at the top there just so that they match you don't need a lot of this uh, for it to look good here's a nice coverage and it's super pretty. I don't know what it's going to be like to apply eyeliner over, but we will see. My tape doesn't want to stay down today. Um, so I'm just going to take a little tiny blending brush and go back into that mixed berry purple colour and just take away that harsh edge if I can. Obviously I don't know this product, so we're just going to roll with it and see what happens. Just so it looks a little bit less like I just plunked it on my face kind of thing so it looks a bit smoother it's not bad and it's really really pretty and it dries down quite quickly so you kind of got to work fast with it if you want to blend it out oh I really like it I love how it looks it's super simple and super dramatic oh this would be perfect for a night out so perfect so just making sure that it looks even on both eyes and we haven't got odd eyes which we probably have but I'm rolling with it today I like it I like how this has turned out that's really really pretty right I'm quickly going to apply some eyeliner and mascara and I will come back and give you my thoughts on this L'Oreal eye paint. Right, I am back and I've applied the rest of my makeup. I've used Soap and Glory Thick and Fast uh, Mascara and uh, the Super Cat Liner from Soapy, Soap and Glory and I'm just going to go in now with a little bit of highlight and this is the Unicorn Heart from Makeup Revolution. So I'm just going to finish off this look, it's so easy. Uh, and I'm going to just zoom out the camera and then tell you my thoughts on this uh, liquid eye paint. Don't want too much highlight because the diamond eyes is everything. I never like those. I'm literally on the fence when it comes to fan brushes and how they they apply. I much prefer my BH one reaching for it's so much nicer so I'm just going to put a little bit there that blinding glow goes with the diamond eyes so I'm just going to zoom you out and then I'll let you know my thoughts on the product right all zoomed out and my thoughts on this eye paint it is so good I really really love how it's turned out it's made like a really simple eyeshadow look look like an, a really great evening look I just I just love it I love it I really like how this has turned out and you guys saw literally what two shadow eyeshadow colors and then the eye paint and this is what it, it looked like it's really really nice I love it it looks super dramatic but super pretty and yes so my thoughts on the L'Oreal eye paint I love it it dries super quick 
so there's no transfer on my upper eyelid it's really easy to apply just using the um, little tip that's inside there I got the colour diamonds which is what the wacky world of Lottie bought me but this is super easy and super dramatic and I'm guessing a lot more affordable than the Stila products so I've done a swatch obviously of the products on my hand rather than on my eyes but it looks so good I am loving it absolutely love it so highly recommend the L'Oreal eye paints um, I have the colour diamonds for this look um, I will list in the description bar below where you can get it for yourself and how much it costs because obviously I don't know because Lottie gave it to me is in my box swap um, but yeah I will totally list that below so you guys can go and check this out because for a really affordable eye, I, I'm guaranteeing it's a lot cheaper than Stila for a really affordable eye liquid eye paint you, you definitely need to try one of these for sure so that was my quick trial of the L'Oreal eye paint I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up and subscribe before you leave because that really would mean a, the, the law <laughs> that would really mean a lot to me that's what I was trying to say um, yeah it would really mean the world to me your guys support is everything and uh, I love reading all your comments so if you liked this look like I said give me a big thumbs up if you want the product yourself it will be listed in the description bar below but other than that guys I'll see you in the next one bye